Welcome back everyone for a colorful Barnes Cobra Kai season five watch party. With the recent confirmation that Sean Kanan will return as Mike Barnes in season five, the fandom has been rocking. The theories are everywhere. Is he working for Terry Silver? Is he Tori's father? Will he fight Chosen or Daniel? Or perhaps he teams up with Johnny? They're all fun theories. Luckily, we already have a review of Sean Kanan's performance in Season 5. It comes from none other than Robert Mark Kamen. You recall Robert Mark Kamen is the original screenwriter who wrote The Karate Kid. He created the entire Miyagi-verse and based a lot of it off events in his own life. He also wrote Karate Kid 2 and Karate Kid 3. So he is the one who created Terry Silver and Mike Barnes. Throughout the creation of Cobra Kai, John, Josh, and Hayden have been in touch. They talked about the characters, shared ideas, and got a lot of Kamen's perspective to help them craft the narrative we've enjoyed so much. Well, Robert Mark Kamen has also gotten early glimpses of what's to come. Way back in May, in an interview with Cobra Kai Companion, he spilled the beans about what's to come. He is thrilled. Watch. And even I have to say, in season five, Sean is really good. I was like, oh, don't bring him back. Don't bring him back. Mike Barnes, Mike Barnes. He's really good. He's really oh. good. He, 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 he has learned acting technique. And so he can play colors. And his character has all these different colors to it. Let's start by focusing on the first thing Robert said there. Right off the top, you can see he thinks Sean Cannon is really good. He said it several times. In season five, Sean is really good. He's really good. He's really oh. good. He's being genuine here. Believe me, Robert Mark Kamen isn't a guy who would give such genuine praise if he really didn't think it. You can tell he really is impressed by Sean Kanan's performance in the season. Now, he also said he was telling John, Josh, and Hayden, don't bring him back. Don't bring Mike Barnes back. There is a reason for that. You see, when Karate Kid 3 was originally being discussed, Robert wanted to do something different. He wanted to perhaps go back in time and look at the origins of Miyagi-Do. It would be about Shimpo Sensei, who drank too much sake and woke up in China. However, the studio didn't want to do that. They wanted to stick with Daniel LaRusso and redo the first movie. Robert wasn't interested, but they offered him tons and tons of money to come on board and write it. As a true red-blooded American, he accepted their generous offer. So basically, he wrote the movie the studio wanted. He created Barnes to be a hired gun and antagonist to Daniel. It's clear he doesn't think very highly of the movie, certainly not as much as the others. He just gave the studio what the studio wanted. So for those reasons, he didn't have the highest opinion of everything from that movie. He is a writer who has created so many timeless characters, and he doesn't consider Mike Barnes to be one of his crowning achievements. He would rather Barnes just be cast aside. That said, obviously, John, Josh, and Hayden had some ideas of their own. What we know is they're adding a lot of color to his character. He has learned acting technique, and so he can play colors, and his character has all these different colors to it. Basically, what he means is that Mike Barnes has more than one or two emotions. We're going to see more nuance. For example, in season two, Martin Cove talked about playing the colors with John Kreese, and he was definitely referring to the scenes with Johnny at the dojo and Johnny at the shelter. So basically, you can expect to see something similar here. Barnes may still be a very bad man, but he will have accents and color. In fact, in the promotional photo that has been released, he looks like he's crying. Maybe he's crying because he learned he had a son after all these years who was hidden from him. Maybe he's crying because his wife finally died after a long battle with kidney failure, and now his daughter wants nothing to do with him. Or maybe he's crying because they closed the ice cream bar long before its scheduled shut time. Either way, Barnes is hurt and looking for no mercy you really get a feel for what Robert Mark Kamen is saying by playing the colors. This will be Mike Barnes like you've never seen him before. After you subscribe, let me know what you think the Mike Barnes story will be. There's a lot of great ideas out there. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party. Karate's bad boy. Mike Barnes. Perfect. There's nothing you got that I can't count on you. Karate's a joke. <laughs>